Hello, West Ham Network. It's Holly, and today I'm going to be running you through the best and worst Premier League outcome this season, depending on our final two games. <laughs> As I'm sure you already know, we have got Luton at home and then we've got Man City away. Last game of the season and neither of those are going to be easy fixtures because Luton need the points for a chance to escape relegation and City need those points for a chance to win the league. So taking a look at the league table as it currently stands, West Ham sit ninth on 49 points and we technically have the ability to finish anywhere between 7th and 14th. But as you'll see in a minute, the top spots are looking incredibly unlikely. Now, let's take a quick look at the teams that we can catch the teams that can catch us and the difficulty of everyone's fixtures because it's going to be interesting to have a little little look at what the, the possibilities are from where we stand right now so first looking up at the table Man United and Chelsea are both five points ahead of us but their goal difference means that unless we get some ridiculously gigantic wins which would be beyond the realms of possibility we will struggle unless we win both remaining games and they both lose their remaining fixtures our goal difference, just to put it into perspective, is currently 11 worse than United and 25 worse than Chelsea's. So recovering that kind of goal difference in two fixtures, I'm not sure it's possible. I like to be optimistic, but I'm afraid it's looking almost impossible that we will climb any higher even if we do put in a shift. And then looking down the table, I have made a very, very fancy little infographic for us to look at. So this chart, it colour codes the difficulty of the remaining fixtures based on league position. As you can see from that nifty little key down below, um, the top six are highlighted red. Orange means teams are between 7th and 14th. And yellow is a team between 15th and 20th position in the Premier League. So to run you through it, Bournemouth are one point behind us. Us. They have got Brentford and Chelsea left to play. Brighton are four points behind us. They've got a game in hand, meaning three games left to play. And these are against Newcastle, Chelsea and Man United. Wolves are three points behind us and they've got Palace and Liverpool. Fulham are five points behind us. They've got City and Luton and Palace are six points behind with Wolves and Villa left to play. Bournemouth are the only team that are not facing a side in the current top six in those last two games. However, no team has got an easy last two games because they've still got Chelsea, who are currently in form, and Cole Palmer, who's just scoring goals for fun. Meaning, basically, we have got absolutely everything to play for. So I thought it'd be interesting to just take a look at what would happen to the league table if every single one of these teams gets the same number of points that they did when they faced the same teams earlier in the season. And here is what it has done. So, for example, if uh, someone faced Luton, I've put if someone has Luton to play, I've put what they got when they last played, played Luton. So, as you can see from this, there's not a huge amount of change, but Brighton would jump up to ninth, pushing us down to 10th in the final league standings. Obviously, this is based on the uh, the idea that everyone scores exactly the same number of points <laughs> as when they last faced these teams. But here is hoping that we're pleasantly surprised of how we perform. After all, I was thinking about this. I think we could put in a shift. This is an opportunity to do that anyway, because every single player that is on that pitch now needs to prove their worth to the new manager and show why they deserve to be in our starting 11. And Moyes is going to be looking to impress other clubs in his final two fixtures at West Ham. So there you have it. The pressure is on for us to put in some solid performances and prevent any of those teams below us. Here they are one more time. Prevent this lot from catching us up because we do not want that to happen. Finishing ninth would be a relatively decent season considering the drop in form in the second half. If we could have kept up the first half of our form, my goodness, we'd have been in a lovely place. But here we find ourselves, so let's hope we have a strong end to the season. But yeah, the big question, could we see an improved performance, seeing as the pressure is now off Moyes? Or maybe we'll just get all the players to pick a position out the hat. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? You never know. <laughs> That's all for me for now, but make sure you join the conversation in the comments. And obviously, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that if you've enjoyed it. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the West Ham Network. And if you fancy treating yourself why don't you become a member of the West Ham Network because you get exclusive content, giveaways, so much more. It's great fun. So have an amazing day. And until next time, come on, you irons.